Hello, and welcome to the Flash Talk training course for Studio Light. In this video, we will demonstrate how to flash the Sprint Samsung SPH D710, also known as the Epic Touch, on Android operating system 4.12. Prerequisites for this flash you will need at least 30% battery charge, one micro USB cable, one free USB port, customer's MDN and MIN or MSID, one 250 megabyte or larger SD card pre-installed. To install the micro SD card, remove the battery door cover, locate the micro SD card slot, and insert the micro SD card. Replace the battery door cover. We are now ready. To begin, click the Next button. You will now be given a list of pre-flash instructions to help you with your flash. If you do not know how to perform a step, click on the detailed instructions for more information. To enable diagnostics, go to the phone dialer and enter in pound pound 3424 pound. Select the option CP, then click the home button. Click the next button. Once the device is plugged in and in diagnostics mode, it's time to detect your device. To begin the detection, go ahead and click on Detect Device. Studio Light will try to detect if the drivers are missing and attempt to download and automatically install the drivers if needed. Afterwards, Studio Light will begin the auto detection and attempt to identify any connected devices. Once you have connected to the device, Studio Light will automatically display the device's current information. Please fill in the customer's mobile telephone number and MIN. If you know the SID, please fill this in as well. Once completed, go ahead and select your service provider. In this case, Cricut is the default service provider. Then select your flash type. In this case, it will be a full flash. To begin the flash, click Provision. When the flash completes, you will be given a review of the flash. You will also be given post-flash instructions that will help assist you with the rest of the flash. The rest of the process will take place on the phone. You will need to disable the Wi-Fi and the 4G settings. To do this, click the menu key, then Settings. Locate Wi-Fi, toggle it off. Locate 4G settings, toggle it off. You also need to scroll down to security and check unknown sources. Also remember to check OK to accept it, then click the home key. Click on the phone dialer and enter in pound pound 3282 pound. Click on edit, enter in six zeros, zero zero zero, zero zero zero. Click OK, click others. Click Multimedia, click on the RTSP proxy address, delete the existing value, and enter in 0.0.0.0, and click OK. Click on RTSP proxy port, delete the existing value, 
click on httpd proxy address, enter in 0.0.0.0, then click OK. Click on httpd proxy port, delete the existing value and click OK. Then press back, 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 and back to get to the home screen. Click on the stock internet browser icon at the web URL, enter in mms.flashatalk.us and then click enter or go. The website should automatically detect your Android version. If it does not, download the latest version for your Android. Once the download is complete, go ahead and click on the install and install the messaging application. Click open and let the MMS application validate your signature files. Go ahead and replace the stock messaging icon with the new blue messaging icon. Make sure to remove the old messaging icon from the user's home screen. Go ahead and test the picture mount by sending a picture to the device's own phone number. You should be able to send and receive successfully. Test that YouTube is working and streaming correctly. Validate that incoming picture mail is working. After you have verified that incoming and outgoing calls, text messaging, picture messaging, internet, and YouTube are all working correctly, you have successfully flashed your Sprint Samsung SPH D710 Epic Touch.